It's a disease that can cause paralysis in a child with no cure and little research on it. Acute flaccid myelitis or AFM. The polio like illness started appearing in the US in 2014 and last year there was a record number of cases 235 31 of those in Texas. Sarah Costa spoke with a physician with San Antonio Metro Health who helps us understand AFM. <laughs> It's a serious condition and it's very scary for the parents. Acute flaccid myelitis. It's been around for almost five years and is still a very mysterious disease. It's a disease that affects the spinal cord, creating polio-like symptoms, like sudden weakness in the arms or legs, facial drooping, and slurred speech. What physicians like Dr. Anita Gudion do know, there is a trend for when it occurs. We tend to see a spike in cases of acute flaccid myelitis every two years. So if, you, if, if it follows the trend, uh, we expect uh, to see a spike in 2020. Last year was a spike year with 235 cases across the country and 31 in Texas. None of those were in Bear County. The only case ever reported in Bear County was in 2017. So far this year, there have been 13 confirmed cases, two of those in Texas. Dr. Kudian says there is also a trend of AFM occurring from August to October. She says it mostly affects children with the average age being five years old. As for why these trends occur is still unknown. Dr. Kudian says there hasn't been enough research. Typically for us to have good research data, we should have hundreds and thousands of cases, mm. but we don't have that many. She says there's no proven way to prevent AFM or cure for it, but parents can still take certain precautions. For example, she says to use good hygiene, like washing your hands or using hand sanitizer, avoid touching your face, and to stay up to date on all your vaccines, especially the flu shot. Dr. Gudion says patients with AFM usually have respiratory symptoms a week before, like a cough or sneezing or fever. She says whether catching symptoms early can make a difference is not certain, but she says to take your child to the doctor immediately, especially if your child is experiencing weak muscles. The treatment for AFM includes occupational and physical therapy. Now, some patients can recover fully. Some may have symptoms longer than a year. In severe cases, AFM can be fatal. Courtney? All right, Sarah, clearly there still needs to be more research done. What's being done nationally to help? So last November, the Centers for Disease Control launched an AFM task force to help an ongoing investigation to help find the cause for this disease and improve treatments and outcomes and, of course, look for a potential cure. Courtney.